Welcome to Miller and Caroline's Growing. So in a previous video, I stated that we were on our way to financial freedom. But I also mentioned that we had done a lot of growing in other areas of our life. And one is the way we eat. And we started getting to, into eating apple cider vinegar. We started making um, our own tonics, which will be another video about this later. Look at how good this looks. That's all full of positive, yummy, healthy vibes. We'll get into that later though. Today, we're gonna make some apple cider vinegar from home. I've never done this before. I've watched other YouTube videos, gotten recipes, but we're gonna kind of throw our own twist into it. So I've already started to cut up some apples. Let's bring this a little bit closer. I've got my chopped up apples. I've got all the things that I'm gonna be using for this. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below in case you want to purchase your own things. Uh, a lot of this stuff I'm just pulling from out of the kitchen. I haven't bought the things that I would really like. Number one in particular is this plastic spoon. I don't like it. I would rather have a wooden spoon. Um, I feel like plastic is just bad for the inside of us and I don't like using it at all. So we go. We're going to be using what we have today because the things that I want have not come in yet. I ordered all my supplies off of Amazon and I did put the link in the description so you can check it out. So, um, there's all kinds of different ways to do this, like I said. Um, some people use the mason jars or the bar, uh, ball jars for uh, fermenting. We have a special fermenting jar right here. See? It's so special because it has pickles in it. Yeah. That's special. So what I'm going to do is finish cutting up these apples while I'm speaking with you. Um, some people use specific recipes. I'm not really one of those. I'm just going to dump all these apples into this jar. Uh, another video said you could use two cups of apples, four cups of water, and then a cup of honey. And they also said that the honey is comparable to a cup of sugar. So if you use a cup of honey, it's comparable to a cup of sugar. We're using honey, it's raw and organic, that I got from a local store here. And I wish we could have went to the, the actual beehive and got it. That's like a beehive farm up here, but we didn't. I also wanted to use organic apples. We didn't. We just went to the store because I'm so excited to make this. Um, I just wanted to do it. We could have went to a lot of different farms and got the organic stuff like how I like, but I'm so excited to make our own. I was buying the large containers after my husband told me about it and the plastic containers. And then I just recently learned how bad that is. The plastic toxins actually leak into the apple cider and make it not very healthy for you. So that's a big no-no. So my husband said, why don't we just make it ourselves? And I never even thought of that. He's such a genius. So I'm just gonna finish cutting up these apples. So in a couple other videos that I was watching, there's all kinds of secrets to this. Like uh, another guy was talking about his magic Christmas towel. And I don't know how mine's going to turn out. Because I don't have a magic Christmas towel. I don't. I guess I need to get one of those. There's a 50% chance that this won't work. So we're going to try to uh, increase our chances of this working. By adding in the mother, this is the Bragg's Organic Apple Cider Vinegar with the mother. And if you see it on the bottom here, it's this little substance around the bottom. So I was told if you add that in from there, it will actually grow into a bigger mother. And we will have success, hopefully. I was also told that this tastes wonderful. 
if you buy the apple cider vinegar from the store, I think it tastes good, but a lot of people probably wouldn't. So I was told this has a very sweet, great taste to it. Okay, so we cut all the apples up. By the way, I've used several different types of apples. I used Gala, a Fiji, and Granny Smith. So we're going to use about a cup of honey. All that organic honey raw good stuff. I hope this turns out good because I can't wait to taste it. I'm so excited. It's really a good feeling making your own product too. It really is. Put all that positive vibe and energy into it. It's going to be exciting. We've got about a cup of that. I'm just going to let that drain to there. And we've got our water. So also what I've learned is you want to put enough water in there that the apples don't come up above because you don't want the mold to start on there. You want to keep it below the water level. Um, on another video, there was these really cool discs that I'll put in the link that actually weights down the apples to keep them below the water, like I said. We are using stuff from the kitchen. So I found this top from the blender that I'm actually going to use. And I'm hoping that keeps it down. I was told we need to stir this every two to three days. Clean and stir it with our fake wooden spoon. Stir it, mix all that love up. This is going to be so healthy and yummy. I just know it. I'm so excited. So this is the part where the magic towel comes in. We don't have a magic towel, so you really need to get one. Oh yeah, that should keep it down. Absolutely. So this is after I stirred it. Look at how yummy that looks. So this is the part where the magic towel comes in and I don't have one, so we're going to use paper towels. The reason is you don't want to just put the lid back on there. You want it to be able to breathe. So we're going to put a paper towel over it. And use a little rubber band. Also, I suggest you put a piece of paper inside this rubber band and write the date so you know when you did it because you're going to forget. See? Doesn't that look yummy? All the positive vibes and energy in this thing. Love it. So like I said, go in every two to three days and stir it up. Give it a good stir. Um, it should be ready in about a month to six weeks. Uh, how long you let it sit is how the more acidic it's going to get. So you want that. You want it to be able to ferment and do its thing into apple cider vinegar. And so I'm going to make another video. We're going to taste it. We're going to see how yummy it is. I'll let you guys know. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, everything that was in the video is also in the description in the links. Go ahead and click on that and see the type of things I want to use, the easier stuff. And make sure you give us a th uh, thumbs up. Thanks for tuning in.